Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday. Hey, baby, how you doing? Wonderful. How are you? Very good. It's a movie star Monday, and I'm excited to visit with movie star Todd Magnuson. Now, there's a couple of people who probably haven't heard of him. <laughs> I, I know who Todd Magnuson is. Now, I got to admit, uh, this may be a stretch to call him a movie star, but he has starred in some movies that he, he has a movie created. Star. I know, but uh, I, I'm excited really to visit with Todd about a new TV show that he put out. Uh, he's got a program that he's done for like 10 years called Nature Adventures, and now he has a new show, a new television program. It's not a movie, but a television program called Nature Vacationing. And it's just a, a recently come out, and we're going to chat with him to learn more about that. Super nice guy. Excited to visit with Todd Magnuson. I got a quote for you today. You ready for this? I am ready. I think in terms of evolutions, not revolutions, failure is not part of my vocabulary. Sheila Lero Marcello, founder of Care.com. I like that. Evolutions, not revolutions, Heidi. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show on a Monday. If you're a business owner trying to do your own website, maybe it's time to get help. Or if you don't even have a website, it's definitely time for help. It's 2018. This internet thing is here to stay. At 49bydesign.com, we offer a simple plan to get you online for just $49 a month with no setup fee. This includes a website with the hosting and domain name included in the price. We have larger packages available, but this will get you online so people can find you in 2018. We're affordable by design at 49bydesign.com. That's 49bydesign.com. John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Uh, I thought you'd never ask. It is Monday, the 30th day of July. Today is National Whistleblower Day. So I bet all the lifeguards are excited about that. Because <laughs> they blow their whistles. I see. And, uh, I, I and totally get that. That co- was amazing. Coaches and refs and uh-huh. other whistleblowers out there wow. celebrating today. It's National Cheesecake Day. I could have swore... It was National Cheesecake Day like a month ago. Am I remembering that incorrectly? It could always be Cheesecake Day as far as I'm concerned. I love Almost cheesecake. positive. We just celebrated this. It's also National Father-in-Law Day. And I celebrate that every Tuesday. <laughs> I talk to my father-in-law every Tuesday with Tuesdays with Charlie. But today is National Father-in-Law Day. So celebrate accordingly. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday. John! Are you tired of high cable TV rates? Sign up for Dish today and get a $500 bonus offer while supplies last. Plus, lock in your price for two years guaranteed. Call All-American Dish, your dish-authorized retailer now. 800-818-3967. 800-818-3967. That's 800-818-3967. Offers require credit qualification, 24-month commitment, early termination fee, and e-auto pay. Restrictions apply. Call for details. John and Heidi. Coming up, we've got your brain on drugs. But first, a study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine found that most people believe that smoking marijuana has health benefits despite the lack of scientific evidence. So they're saying, I think it's so, so it must be so. And it's interesting to me how some people need scientific evidence for some things, but not other things. I thought there was all kinds of scientific evidence. That's Apparently, what I keep getting told. Uh, well, I don't ever look into it. Who's but. telling you that? Like, no, man, seriously. It's like <laughs> scientifically <laughs> proven to be like uh, <laughs> awesome, man. I don't know. I, I have no clue. And uh, I just read what it says on the page here, Heidi. So uh, I'm, I'm not positive uh, any of anything, but I can tell you what this story says. And according to this, a publish a study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine found most people believe smoking marijuana has health benefits despite the lack of scientific evidence. End of sentence. I've got a link to the story if you want to read all about it in the show notes at John and Heidi Show dot com. This time of year, there are many parties, weddings, cookouts, and other events that often include alcohol. If you're drinking, be sure to have a designated driver. If you or someone you know has a problem with drugs or alcohol, there is help. The Addiction Hope and Helpline wants to help. If you feel like it's time to finally get the help you need, there's a toll-free number you can call, 1-800-438-0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline, 1-800-438-0380, 1-800-438-0380. John and Heidi. And this is your brain on drugs. Now, this was going to be a fake news or Florida story. We do that later in the program, but uh, I don't have any other brain on drug stories. I've got a whole pile of stuff that I got to sift through, 
but I already went through this for Fake News or Florida, because it happened in Martin County, Florida, at a Target, where a manager called the police last Tuesday when a shopper, identified as Jeffrey Ian McKivy, was doing bizarre things at the store. The 53-year-old got into an argument with fellow customers, then he dropped his pants and told a person to kiss his naked behind. <laughs> He was also behaving in a rambunctious way while walking around the aisles. At one point, knocking over contents of a shelf, deputies showed up, and he was no longer there. A man fitting his description was found at a nearby house about a mile away. A search of the home revealed drugs, including marijuana and 11 pipes with traces of THC. (laughs) He admitted the drugs belonged to him and that he said uh, they were blessed by God. The suspect was arrested and booked on charges of indecent exposure, uh, possession of less than 20 grams of marijuana, and possession of drug paraphernalia. So... That did not get to be a fake news or Florida story, but it's definitely what happens <laughs> when your brain is on drugs. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, my wife's crush and sweetheart, Ryan Reynolds, is in the news. You like Ryan Reynolds. I do. He, he is He wants beautiful. to, quote, explore Deadpool's sexuality, end quote, in the next film. What does that even mean? <laughs> I think he just wants to have fun, is what he wants to do. Uh, the weekend and Bella hated announced that they are a couple again. Did I just speak English when I said that? What Who? did that say? The weekend is a person and Bella hated apparently is another person. I have no idea who. I think I'm gonna, we are apparently very, very old. Let me just read that sentence again. <laughs> I am very old and don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Have you ever wanted to just hang out with Jeff Goldblum and just talk about yes. stuff? National Geographic might grant that wish to you. Jeff Goldblum is getting his own docu-series, The Curiosity of Jeff Goldblum. He'll travel around the world and explore the backstory of ordinary objects. So you can reach out to them apparently and say, hey, come over and talk to me about my spatula. And then he'll love him. Hang out. I think he's really funny. Our son is a huge fan of Jeff Goldblum. So <laughs> on this big screen, little screen, Ryan Reynolds and Jeff Goldblum. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Now you can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline tickets. Book a flight today to London, Paris, Madrid, or anywhere else you want to go. And pay a lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at low-cost airlines. 800-719-5601. 800-719-5601. That's 800-719-5601. Now your scoop of the day. The National Traffic and Safety Bureau is warning teenagers against the dangers of the In My Feelings Challenge that started like a week ago. It's a bad idea. The what challenge is it? it requires you to throw yourself out of a moving car to oh, well, emulate so a Drake video. Stupid. Do we really have to put warnings out? I read on Facebook where somebody was talking about this. They said, don't warn them. Anyone who does this and dies doing this, they should. This we're just thinning the herd. That's probably the wrong way to look at it. You know what? This is Young, ridiculous. impressionable Kids people. Kids are so stupid. Well, here's the thing. We Most had, people would never do this. We had cartoons like, you know. Wiley Coyote. Look at what the Wiley Coyote was always doing. We didn't have to remind people, hey. Do not jump off cliffs. Don't really do this. Don't <laughs> order from the Acme Corporation and try to blow up bridges. Do not smack people's heads with mallets. <laughs> My God. What, uh, this, why do they think, hey, I could, I'm going to do this now. Here's what the is difference. happening? What's the Here, difference between let the me generations? Tell you. I'm going to show you. I'll hold it up. This thing called a cell phone, this is the difference. You walk around with a movie studio in your pocket, and kids see other people do these things, and they get famous, and they're like, oh, hey, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get famous. Or you're going to get, I don't know, paralyzed. Don't jump out of a moving vehicle. You could even get dead. Uh, That's going to happen to somebody, I guarantee you. So don't do that. It's a bad idea. We're going to move on. I've got a link to the story if you want to read all about that silly challenge, and it's a bad, bad, bad idea. A new survey by the Migration Policy Institute found that 22% of the U.S. population does not speak English. 22%. So there you go. A survey by the United Nations found that HIV infects one person every three minutes. So during the time we do the scoop of the day, at least one person in the world will be infected by HIV. That is just crazy when you think about that. Last week, San Francisco approved a measure to ban plastic straws. So there are people freaking out about that. I am not a big fan of straws, but I don't think they need to be banned. Here's what I think. I think what they should do instead of banning straws is just ask people, do you need a straw? Because my answer would always be no. 
I read um, a very good point that there are many people who cannot eat without yeah, absolutely. straws. So now what? Yeah. So the, I think they're going to probably have to have a permit or something. I don't know. There's there's going to there's going to be some sort of straw permit. Do you have a straw permit, sir? <laughs> I don't know how that works. A 21 year old. Oh, should this. Take a straw poll and see what everybody thinks. <laughs> you are so punny. <laughs> uh, take a listen to this. 21 year old cryptocurrency tycoon in Great Bit- Britain. Maybe the world's first trillionaire, not millionaire, not billionaire. He's 21. He could be the first trillionaire. He's 21. We've got a son that's 21. Troy, listen. Step it up, hey, man. You, you ain't no trillionaire. <laughs> What's going on, man? Even this kid can't explain what Bitcoin is, though. This cryptocurrency tycoon could be the fir- world's first trillionaire. And I don't understand the whole I don't either. cryptocurrency. And I clearly should have paid attention because i ain't no trillionaire neither. <laughs> i don't think any of those words really go together by the way scientists have identified mummy juice inside a twenty thousand i'm sorry a two thousand year old egyptian you told tomb. me this the other day what is this i mean? don't know i asked you have you ever heard of mummy juice and she said is that some sort of energy drink no i didn't i said it's an, is it is it embalming food oh, is that for mummies was? that's what i said somebody else then said they thought it was an energy drink Weirdo. i thought that was you so mummy juice in a Egyptian tomb. I still don't know what it is. It sounds delicious, though. <laughs> Not really. It doesn't. A guy in Germany thought the roof of his house would be a good place to take a nap. About oh my gosh. 20 minutes into his snooze, he rolled off and yeah. landed on a sofa that was on his front lawn. Are you kidding? No. He had placed the sofa there for somebody who was coming to pick it up. The sofa claimer was actually late he is so lucky. Which probably saved the roof snoozer's life. Who in the world <laughs> would say, you know, while I'm waiting for somebody to come pick up my sofa, <laughs> I'll just climb right up there on the roof and take a nap. <laughs> are you serious? This this happened in Germany. Uh, what are you guys doing in Germany? I have no clue. Thanks for listening to the Scoop of the Day on a Monday. John and Heidi. Do you have ideas for t-shirt designs, but you don't have a clue how to print them? Or maybe you'd like to have t-shirts and coffee mugs available to buy online with your business logo printed on them. There's a website that makes it easy. We set ours up in about 10 minutes. There's no sign-up fee, no minimum orders, no monthly fees. It's just a really easy way to put some cool items online for sale. And you get paid every time somebody buys them. You don't have to print or ship anything. Just sign up, upload your designs, and then let people know where they can get your cool stuff. More details available at Radiosavings.com. That's Radiosavings.com. John and Heidi. Thanks for listening on another Movie Star Monday. We've got a special guest joining us in the studio today, movie star Todd Magnuson. Todd has been in a bunch of fun movies. My favorite is Deary, of course. He's also got Nature Adventures, a television program he's been doing for about 10 years now. Another show called A Two-Bit Game Show, which we've talked to him about on this program. Those two have a lot in common, right? <laughs> Those, but, but the cool thing is you've got a new television program out called Nature Vacationing. Is that right? That's right. Yep. Now, where did the concept come from for Nature Vacationing? Well, we filmed Nature Adventures, Terry and I, she's my co-host for, you know, 10 years. Yeah. And we go to all these places and, you know, in the middle of nowhere and we, you know, find wildlife and things like that, nature. And we thought instead of education, let's emphasize the vacation part of this because people yeah. can do what we're doing. We're going to these places and basically having fun, having a vacation. It's not so educational. It's more fun. And we bring her two teenage kids along and show people how much fun it is to go out in nature. And kind of our motto is it's a thing. It's a thing yeah. to do, nature vacationing. So it's like, gee, honey, what should we do this summer for vacation? Should we go stand in line at a theme park for three days? Or let's get out and have a nature vacation. That's kind of cool. So when you do that, is it similar to camping or you're not necessarily camping? We don't emphasize that. I mean, if you want to camp, cool. But we you know, we stay in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my kind of camping there. Yeah. You know, you, you see these wildlife shows where they're eating dead animals and things like that. We eat in restaurants. So. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is a live cricket that I'm eating. And you're like, oh, no, we're going to go play cricket, but no, we're not going to eat one. That's right. So now nature vacationing, did you guys kind of create that term then? Yeah, that's exactly what we did. The concept didn't take so long, but to come up with the name, we thought this kind of not grammatically sounding real good, but <laughs> but it's a thing. And that's called nature vacationing. I think it is kind of a cool thing because uh, my beautiful bride, Heidi, is not a camper. Uh, when I was a kid, we would go camping all the time. And my wife and I went camping together once. And then she's like, yeah, we're not doing that no more. So <laughs> her idea of roughing it is staying in like a one-star hotel. So. <laughs> 
So the cool thing about this is you can have the fun nature experience that you might typically have camping, but you don't have to necessarily stay out there. You can go and, and enjoy the creature comforts that we're used to at home. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to go somewhere and, you know, outside for three days and really rough it like the pioneers did, you know. Nature Adventures, you had for 10 years now, you guys have been doing that show, this new Nature Vacationing. You've got like one season. How one, much? One of- season, 13 episodes. Nice. Uh, it just premiered. We've got it on Amazon Prime or okay. Amazon, whatever you call it, video. Okay. Amazon, all right. Yeah, and uh, you know we're getting it on more places, and we're going more the streaming route because you know, honestly, that's kind of the way it way is. of the world anymore. So. Well, and it, it's amazing to me uh, how many people do that. I. I had to sound like an idiot a year ago when I was talking about a lot of this stuff. I didn't understand it because we never really did that. We would watch like cable and I didn't right. know all this downloading stuff <laughs> and I didn't know what Netflix was. You know, people would talk about, oh, Netflix and chill. And I'm like, I'm going to VHS and stress. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. So now we do use those things and I go, oh, hey, this is pretty darn easy. This is pretty cool. But one of the things that you were telling me when we had talked to you about one of your other programs on the John and Heidi show, you said you had kind of a huge spike in, in viewership because of that. We did. We we did the interview when we premiered the game show December or something, yeah. something like that. And uh, yeah, we had a huge spike. So all twelve of our listeners watched that show. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the thing that's really neat though is uh, I've known Todd for years. I actually remember when Nature Adventures, which you've been doing for ten years now, when that was just an idea. Yep. And I remember watching as that came to fruition and started airing on public television all over the country. And and I just thought that was really cool to watch that. And well, I got to tell the story when we pitched Nature Adventures to the local PBS station, we brought John along. I got to go with. He got to go with. And when we were done he asked why did you ask me to go with and i said you're the only guy i know with a tie <laughs> and, that's and, we, a true story. and we didn't wear ties and you wore a tie and it was the ugliest tie ever but we got the gig so. that's how it's i worked <laughs> and look where it led you now yeah, so exactly no it's it's really neat to see uh what you and terry are doing uh nature vacationing such a cool concept and I th- i'm really glad that you just said hey let's try it and see what happens and you have a whole season ready to go and people can go on and watch it now through amazon and if they're an amazon prime member it's free it's right? free, yeah. We're going to throw a link in our show notes to make it easy to find. And again, Todd Magnuson has been our guest. And we're going to get to line up an interview with Terry one of these days too, right? Yeah, she'll come in. She'll so come in soon. We'll get a chance to chat with her. because then you'll see how it's, it's a great show. It's a great travel show. But gosh, it's really goofy too. <laughs> and, and you guys have some fun movies. That's why we get to air this on Movie Star Monday because, ah. you know, Todd is a movie star. So <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> we, we'll throw a link to some of those movies too. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> they're just silly movies, but they're actually very, very fun. Todd, thank you again for coming in. Thanks, John. Again, Todd Magnuson, our guest today, and their new show, Nature Vacationing, is available now through Amazon. We'll throw a link to it in the show notes at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. If you're a business owner, you should consider using radio. Radio is a powerful tool. Over 90% of us listen to the radio each week. Imagine if this ad was talking about your business, helping you hit your goals. We can help. We can also create a fun jingle, too, to get people singing your song. When you put words to music, they're nine times more memorable, and that makes radio work even better. Learn more at RadioReallyWorks.com. Radio jingles to help you get better results with the money you're already spending. RadioReallyWorks.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Walmart generates about $3 million in revenue every seven minutes. I'm looking to see. Is it million or billion? No, that is. $3 million in revenue every minute. Uh, Every seven minutes, rather. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There are, oh my goodness, all of these commas. Let's see. That would be hundreds of, 635 billion, 13 million, 559,000 and 599 possible hands in a game of bridge. Huh. I don't. Think I have it, never played bridge. Nor have I. Uh, I would love to see how that game works because I, I remember when I was a kid, there were some older ladies that I knew that were always playing bridge because they were like, "Well, we're just going to play bridge," and I was like, "Well, have fun." And I was thinking, "Play bridge? What is that? What does that mean?" Yeah, like you're going to span across a, a thing and somebody's going to walk across your back. I've never I don't know what that it. means. Oh, it's a card game. I get it. Play bridge. Uh, apparently, it's a big deal though. So a lot of different possible hands in that game. Oh, almost seven trillion if i read that number correctly almost 700 billion yeah see i didn't read it right thanks for listening to the john and heidi show on a monday john and heidi. 
If you're a business owner trying to do your own website, maybe it's time to get help. Or if you don't even have a website, it's definitely time for help. It's 2018. This internet thing is here to stay. At 49bydesign.com, we offer a simple plan to get you online for just $49 a month with no setup fee. This includes a website with the hosting and domain name included in the price. We have larger packages available, but this will get you online so people can find you in 2018. We're affordable by design at 49bydesign.com. That's 49bydesign.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the grandiloquent word of the day, and the word is word, or word. What? Word. W-Y-R-D. Okay. And it's pronounced weird or word. All right. What do you think weird word means? I don't know. <laughs> what a, does it mean? It's a weird word. The principle, power, or agency by which events are predetermined, also known as like fate or destiny. The web of cause and effect that permeates the universe. The German North European equivalent of karma. Weird. W-Y-R-D. I don't think I'll use that weird. Because, Probably not. Okay. It says, we all have our own weird to contend with in life. I don't think that's, that's just a weird word. <laughs> weird is a weird word. <laughs> and the way you want, the one way you say it, W-E-E-R-D, weird. Isn't that a weird way to say word? <laughs> it's, it's a bizarre. Are you done? I'm done. This is a bizarre, grandiloquent <laughs> word for today. Now you can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline tickets. Book a flight today to London, Paris, Madrid, or anywhere else you want to go. And pay a lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at low-cost airlines. 800-719-5601. 800-719-5601. That's 800 719 5601. John and Heidi. Time now for some weird news. On a Monday, a 19 year old was arrested after a blow up doll he tied to some helium balloons interrupted the flight path above an airport in Canada. Uh, that's not good. A man could face charges for indecent, I'm sorry, not indecent, for an incident, that's better, in Vancouver Harbor. Police revealed it was a stunt that he was filming. He thought it would be funny. So two men were filming a video, and they had taken a a blow-up doll, and they tied it to some balloons that were floating, and they let it go in the sky. It was described as an adult size and adult-shaped inflatable. Ten large helium balloons attached to it. Officers in a statement say, The officers believe the release of the inflatable posed a hazard to aircraft entering or leaving the harbor area. The apparent prank affected air travel in the area, And they had to send out warnings to pilots saying, look out for a floating blow-up doll. Maybe armed and dangerous. (laughs) I added the last part. I'm not exactly sure. They were trying to do a stunt. They thought it would be funny. Don't interfere with other people's regular, what they're trying to do. Like, if they're trying to fly airplanes, don't mess with them. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a bad thing. Can you imagine how awful this 19-year-old would feel if it would have caused a plane crash? Mm-hmm. I mean, don't do that. If you're going to do silly little stunts and record them and think you're going to get famous, do things that are not going to harm others. Right. You know, don't jump out of moving cars either. We talked about that one earlier. Don't, common sense, Don't people. think we Just need to come some back common to these. Sense. Exactly. Thanks for listening to some weird news on a Monday. John and Heidi. Now your moment of duh. Police say a 37-year-old Anchorage man was charged with assault after he bit a cab driver Whoa. late Thursday. This is not the first time we've talked no. about these. What and this guy that? also attacked him with bolt cutters. Yeah. The driver called police at about 1130 to report an assault. The driver said he had gotten bitten in the arm and then struck in the face with bolt cutters. Did we talk about this one already or uh, were no, you just telling me I about asked it? you about it. I said I was just saying, oh, no. he got. I thought that he like, cut him with the bolt cutters. Uh, but he hit him with, in the face with it because I said that would hurt too. Well, they both hurt. Yeah, really but I was bad. thinking like he, when it says he assaulted him with bolt cutters, I thought he cut off a finger or something. But uh, either way, the guy was arrested. Uh, he was handcuffed, identified as J- uh, Justin Sanders. They took him to the hospital to check for head injuries from the striking, uh, striking the wall, and then took him off to jail because they had to chase him down, and he jumped over a wall and ran out of a restroom, and that's when they got him. I wonder what the driver did that ticked him know. off. D- probably nothing. Just. Maybe he didn't want to pay his fare. I have no idea. I've got a link to the story if you want to read all about it. It's in the show notes under Moment of Duh at com. 
This time of year, there are many parties, weddings, cookouts, and other events that often include alcohol. If you're drinking, be sure to have a designated driver. If you or someone you know has a problem with drugs or alcohol, there is help. The Addiction Hope and Helpline wants to help. If you feel like it's time to finally get the help you need, there's a toll-free number you can call, 1-800-438-0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline, 1-800-438-0380, 1-800-438-0380. John and Heidi. Time now for fake news or Florida. You think you're going to get this one right, Heidi? I have no idea. I guess yeah. we'll see. I mean, you're just it's getting... It's 50-50 shot. You've so. been getting them right a lot, though. Your 50-50 shot has been, <laughs> you know, really, really good. So here's what we do. I read a story or two, and Heidi has to guess if it's something that really happened in the great state of Florida or if it's fake news. You could play along at home as well. Don't always go with Heidi, by the way, because sometimes she is wrong. <laughs> sometimes I'm wrong. Okay, it hasn't happened lately, but sometimes she is wrong. Okay, tell me, Heidi, fake news or Florida? A 93-year-old Florida woman woke up to a terrifying sight of a naked man in her home while she was sleeping. Fake news or Florida? Wow, that could happen all the time. And it has happened many times. Was it fake news or was it Florida? I'm going to say fake news. Oh, Heidi was wrong. Wrong again, Heidi. It It was a Florida story. This really, truly happened. Officers with Edgewater Police Department say Sean Plotz broke into a woman's home and ransacked it. Her belongings were scattered everywhere and broken glass in the kitchen. And it says uh, they found a screen on the ground near the back door. They believe that's how he entered the home. And when they approached him, they said uh, he found the woman's license, car keys, and credit cards in his pockets. Investigators said they found his footprints in her home along with empty candy wrappers and chocolate smudges on her phone. He was arrested on multiple charges. I thought he yeah, was if naked. He was naked. How do you have pockets? Yeah. So yeah, he was naked. I screamed and hollered and he ran out. So mm. apparently along the way, he put on some clothing. <laughs> okay. I wonder if the, she just thought he was naked. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, it is a true story that happened in the great state of Florida. And I've got a link to all the details in the show notes at John and Heidi show dot com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of Odiva. Odiva is a monthly subscription service just for the ladies, and you can find all the details at radiosavings.com. Um, this is kind of a, an interesting story here, and it's kind of a cute story. And, you know, every once in a while we'll have animals in the news who do amazing things. And every once in a while, we'll just have animals in the news that don't do amazing things. But it says, watch strangers encourage a dog to get a big stick through a little fence. So there's a dog walking. He's got a big stick in his mouth. And it says here, judging by how hard Lupe the dog was fighting for this stick, it must have really meant something. (sighs) Ann Peavy of Washington State was walking through a park with her family when she saw this pup trying to get a massive tree branch through a small gate. Absorbed in the task at hand, the dog Lupe kept running into the gate with a stick horizontally in her mouth. Nevertheless, she persisted. She said, we were coming off the river uh, through the school play field when we ran into her. Her owners were a bit ahead of her and didn't appear to have noticed that she was struggling to get this big stick through the gate. She and her family kept uh, words of encouragement to Lupe. She finally did manage to drag the stick through the gate, and then the crowd watching went wild. Oh, and it's just cute really, is that? yeah. So everybody else, you know, they're just cheering and hoping to help her get through. I just thought it was really neat because, you know, this is on video. They got a video of this, so it's not. We've had some great good news stories that are touching and heartfelt, and every once in a while, you just need something like this that you see the video and it makes you really feel it good. It makes you smile. Yeah, cuz you're like that dog yeah. really really wanted to get through that gate. <laughs> dog wanted that stick. Yeah, I've been there. I'm like, "Oh, how can I get through this? <laughs> how can I get through this here?" Huh? I'm going to have to turn sideways oh, apparently. Oh, cute. So, uh anyway, I've got a link to that story and the video and all of that in our show notes. You can find that at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye everybody. Have a great Monday. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show.